Hi there, it's Pavel from Chart. In this video, we will see how Chart could be integrated with uh, JSON data from local files or from uh, REST API. So let's start from checking what data what data is valid for Chart. So I have here example. So you could uh, see the same data from your developers, for example they will provide you a link that will return JSON. So we need to check if this JSON is valid. So how to check it? First of all, uh, first element should be an array. So you could have breakers here. So this means that all behind that, all inside that is, messy, is uh, array. So inside array, you have items and every item, each item, uh, you need to check that if have the same uh, data structure. So this is a uh, key and this is value. So inside every element of this array, you need to check that keys are the same. So it's all. So if uh, there uh, your file is an array and inside the array you have elements and items that are the, have the same structure in terms of keys, you are good. So we can uh, use this REST API or JSON uh, to create charts. If you have any other cases, uh, just ping me on Twitter or in our Slack channel with examples of which data you want to import, which data structures you want to use and we will check how to evolve uh, chart formatting and chart uh, parsing uh, capabilities to allow you to do that. So, uh, what, so what we can do? So we can just create a chart with data that we have. Okay, create. Here you can see HTTPS link or local JSON. So in this video, I will show you how to import it with link. For local JSON, the process is the same. The difference is just uh, in this uh, case, you will select a local file on your computer. So here we will paste this link. So make sure that it's HTTPS because uh, sketch and Figma doesn't allow you to use uh, files from HTTP or data from HTTP because it's not secure. Okay, paste it here. So you can access your API by clicking uh, this link. And uh, it's the same for uh, Google Sheet or CSV. We have two areas here, two inputs. In the first input, we will select data labels, so it's text values uh, that will be placed to X labels. In this uh, input, we will select only columns, only keys from uh, numeric data to create our chart. So we are good and we can click create. Okay, so we have created our chart from HTTPS data, uh, HTTPS from REST API data. Uh, in the next videos, I will show you how to update it and how to edit it. Thank you.